what's going on y'all welcome back to my channel and if you're new here i'm demetrius i'm an interior designer and i'm also a content creator but in this vlog we are gonna be going to kentucky with wolford reserve the bourbon brand and so i'll be driving into uh kentucky because uh well first thing it's just an hour and like 25 minutes from me so i'll be driving but the real issue was the fact that the team couldn't find me any flights that would get me in early enough um, today so that I can actually be a part of all the activities that will be taking part today. Well, that will be taking place today. And so with that being said, I chose to drive because they were taking care of gas and parking. So I'm like, let's just drive. But yeah. So I'm all packed and ready to go. All right, y'all, so I've made it to the hotel and actually the hotel, I believe, is a museum. We're staying at um, 21C Hotel in Kentucky, but uh, pretty much everybody else is here. We're all getting together. I guess we're going to go over to the museum and then over to Old Forester's um, Distillery. So that should be fun, but I guess I will see y'all in a few because I'm going to just go introduce myself to everybody and not be rude, but yes, I'll see y'all. y'all so i've enjoyed this whole um, museum tour because i mean just like the education behind bourbon the history of brands and all of that was super cool and so this was fraser no fraser um it's fraser kentucky i keep uh, getting tongue tied but we have fraser kentucky history museum and so you guys definitely got to stop by if you're here in kentucky So these are all of the options we just tried and I want to show you guys so that you can try them when you see them in the store because they were all really amazing and I'm going to grab a few maybe all of them at the gift shop but I'll see you down there. And so I just told y'all that we were going to the gift shop and I would buy everything we just tried honestly and so uh, they are gifting us a hundred dollars to spend here. So I'm gonna spend their money and then whatever I don't well whatever I can't get I'll just buy myself because I definitely want to add all of them to the bar. What's going on y'all? So yes, we've had a whew, a busy afternoon. We went over to the museum and then we went over to old um old foresters distillery and that was such an enjoyable experience that i'll actually never forget because i mean it was so educational and you get to witness firsthand all of the various steps of the distillation process and just seeing what it takes to create bourbon so that was really awesome but got some downtime here at the hotel but yes Check-in was a little rough. The first um, time I went to the count, actually when I first got here, I couldn't check in because they had no rooms available. So I had to give them my bags. And then once we came back from our little field trip, they still, well, actually they had the room available. First time gave me a wrong key, went back down there. 
Then they gave me a key to a room with somebody in there. So I'm walking in on this man. Whew. And then the third time I went down there, um, everything was cool. They put me in the room, but the room I was in was actually a double bed. And I don't sleep in double bedrooms. It give very much like sex worker vibes. <laughs> and baby, we, we ain't getting very only fans about the situation now. We won't. So, but <laughs> we here now. We got the room that we want. And actually, I'll give y'all a walkthrough of the room. I wouldn't even consider it a tour because it's not that much to show. But I'll walk you through here. So when you first enter, you have this wet bar situation. Let's see what's in here. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, and then we got some coffee here. And I love that they actually put an actual coffee mug instead of just like these paper mugs, play, uh, paper cups, because I hate them. And oh, it's an espresso. So actually I get to test this out because I really like how sleek this one is compared to my jumbo espresso. And then of course, we got the room. And then just here, we got the bathroom. Cool little sexy little TikTok lights. And yeah, pretty cool. What's going on, y'all? <laughs> but yeah, so got a stand-up shower, sink, and a toilet. Um, and most importantly, we have a damn robe. And then, of course, for the room, it's this super contemporary room. I mean, it's really nice. Can't complain. I really love this art feature above the bed. It's, um, actually, let's touch it. Oh, it's like, um, woven. Actually, it's really thin. I thought it was wire, but it feels like those laundry bags. So, yeah, actually, something like that may not even be that hard to even customize or make on your own and then of course we got a nice little plush bed cute carpet and most importantly we have a full-length mirror so we can see the fits we can see the fits and then let's see cool little tv dresser situation i guess i'll get unpacked and over here we have pretty much a little sitting area and then of course we have this dining area and also a little office situation so if i need to get some work done this is where i would do it and i really love how dave got all of these sections into this one room yes yeah, so space planning well done but yes yeah, y'all so that's it for this little room tour and also check out the scones because i thought that this was really nice and the um, the knob on it is actually right here. So that's cool. Y'all need an actual um, a light switch for it. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and check some emails because I got my um, out of office auto response on. So I'll do that and get dressed. Well, actually, I won't get dressed right now. But in a little bit, I'll get dressed for dinner. But I'll catch y'all in a little bit. All right, so I've gotten dressed. Well, I've taken a shower. I ain't just changed my clothes, y'all. <laughs> Vax card, just in case I need that. And then I'm actually gonna switch my bag out for my black uh, Dior. Is this, um, I don't know why I always forget the name of bags, but it is the pouch on the strap. And I really like this because it fits all my essentials, but I, sometimes I do need a little more space, but a little more room, but today I'm good. In the meantime, I think I will have myself a shot of bourbon. Ooh, I want to open this one because actually this is one of my favorite ones from the tasting. And I said that, and it is... Go. It's Old Foresters and it is the 1892. No, 1897. I'm sorry. And it smells so good. But when I was, when we were at the tasting, I noticed that this would have been my favorite to actually have and just sip on. So. <laughs>
child, so I've mustered up the energy to get dressed and I'm just looking in these windows across here. But yeah, so I'm about to go downstairs and meet the rest of the crew. And so I'll see you at Woodford Reserve Woodford Reserves Distillery. <laughs> So yep, we just finished our tastings and going to head over to the gift shop, so that should be fun. More bourbon to add to the bar, so y'all know that's always good. I'm always down for that. What's going on, y'all? So I am back in the hotel about to change out of the clothes and get ready for dinner. So just finished ironing my clothes so now I just need to shower do all of that and yeah so we will be going to dinner actually let me get my phone so I can see where we are actually going hang on files okay so we will be going to oh the restaurant is called 610 Magnolia as you can see, got my clothes laid out, but I'm gonna go and get in the shower before I be looking crazy because it is what 6:32. No, it's 5:32, and I need to be downstairs at 6:10. So I'll see y'all at dinner. <music> is I use these wooden hat forms that you see everywhere and I take the raw material and I mold over the different forms to make different shapes, sizes, and styles. Also, my purpose, my purpose thing was this one. Oh, yeah. Purpose is a nice size. Thank you. Minimum two dollar win wager. It paid one hundred eighty four dollars and ninety cents. For back then in nineteen thirteen, that's worth over five thousand dollars today. So that was quite a bit of cash. He's like, I'm not playing this game with y'all. <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so we're just like trying this exercise to see if he comes to any of us. And I'm using the camera so I can see behind me because I can't look at him. <laughs> and then I got on my little hat. <laughs> <laughs> now y'all when you see me with a horse don't act surprised don't say i didn't warn you because that was a little too much fun and so but yeah so i guess we're about to head out of here and go back to the hotel so i'll probably go grab me a drink from the bar because it is definitely about that time Ooh, let's move. Oh, who else? I'm like running, about to get run over, ran over, run over. And so I've been back to the hotel, changed my outfit. And so now we are at um, this restaurant about to have dinner. It's a really cool uh, restaurant at a farm. So I'll take you with me, of course. Well, friends, this has been one of the funnest press trips we've had. You all been a great group. You've been so much fun. I know we've run you ragged. We've taken <laughs> a lot of food, a lot of bourbon. And uh, bourbon boot. <laughs> <laughs> just relaxing and made me a um, cup, of co cup of coffee and I am about to <laughs> pack up and I wouldn't say head out but I want to actually go back downstairs to the art gallery and shoot a couple of clips for my reel. I shot quite a few clips yesterday but I want to actually shoot like an intro to the reel so I'll do that. And then actually this morning I shot some um, pictures, very um, like hotel vibe images. And so, yeah, so I did that, which is cool. Got me an extra piece of content for this coming week because it's about to get crazy for me. But I'll share details about all the craziness really, really soon. It's actually a lot, a lot going on and also a lot of fun. But I'm gonna go ahead and pack so that I can um, catch up with a friend for brunch and head home. All right, y'all, so I am officially back home and got so much work to do. So I am about to jump upstairs and respond to a bunch of emails, but we're going to end this vlog here and I hope you enjoyed this whole press trip with me because I really wanted to show y'all what goes into press trips because I know on Instagram and to, well, I was about to say interior designers, but influencers make press trips look really, really fun. And sometimes y'all don't realize that it's actual work more so like a journalist. You like highlighting this brand, all they have to offer, all the activities, all the things. And so, yeah. So I hope y'all enjoy receiving like, yeah, so I hope y'all enjoyed the insight and I look forward to actually doing more traveling vlogs with y'all and also more press trips, of course. But we're going to end this here and make sure you let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. All right, y'all. I'll see you next time. I love y'all and y'all take care.